hereby call the order that's the regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 6.30 p.m. Our first order of business is going to be approved the minutes of our last meeting from August 12th. I'm also going to approve the minutes from August 12th. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes from August 12th. All those in favor? Ready. The, the, oh, here. Okay. Um, the decision requires in part that a, a deed restriction be placed on the open space protecting the land in perpetuity. The Commonwealth's Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program requires specific actions by the Local Conservation Commission and the Select Board in order to preserve this the open space in perpetuity. At its July 25th, 2024 meeting, Conservation Commission read aloud the required highlighted text in the um, Expedio Group LLC deed to the town of Sunderland and voted unanimously to accept, accept the open space protections defined, it, defined by the state in its official document. Now it's the select board's turn, must read aloud the highlighted text. Um, would would the, any of you like to read the entire section? It has to be read aloud. Um, in the uh, in the deed, that's this language is from the deed, and um, you must uh, vote to affirm the July twenty fifth, twenty twenty four vote of the Conservation Commission accepting the open space. So first step is to read aloud the portion of the deed. All right, a certain parcel of land off Bumpy Road, Sunderland, Franklin County, Massachusetts, known and designated as protected open space on a plan entitled. Flexible development, subdivision approval not required, plan of land, Sunderland, Massachusetts, prepared for Expedio Group LLC, dated March 12, 2024, by Harold L. Eaton and Associates Incorporated, and recorded with the Franklin County Registry, Registry of Deeds in Book of Plans 154, page 49, which plan is incorporated by reference herein, and to which plan reference is made for a more particular description containing 18 acres plus or minus according to such plan, subject to the restriction that the property is dedicated to the public for the sole purpose of conservation and natural resources and passive recreation, pursuant to chapter 184 of the general laws of the Commonwealth, including for the purpose of, but not limited to, the conservation of species listed pursuant to general laws chapter 131A ETSEQ, which shall be considered the most important conservation purpose for which the land is to be protected in perpetuity, held under the care and custody of the Sunderland Conservation Commission, pursuant to General Law Chapter 48. Um, C. Any proposed use, including but not limited to passive recreational development, trails, vegetation, or soil alteration, must be approved by the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife pursuant to their authorities of General Laws Chapter 131A ETSEQ, meaning and intending to convey the above described property to the town of Sunderland under the provisions of General Laws Chapter 48C and to be managed and controlled by the Conservation Commission of the town of Sunderland. Okay. And the form of motion is very specific, so I've just highlighted this area and you'll move so, that. Yeah, I move to yep. it. Before we go to the motion, is there any discussion this okay. necessary? So, that land, are we going to need to do some type of vegetation management on it? it uh, more so knocking down the weeds a couple Can times a year, having it yeah. mowed, anything like I that? I can't answer that definitively, but I did meet with the Conservation Commission Chair on Thursday, and she um, she didn't uh, express any concerns about the vegetation management on that parcel. Um, I think they're comfortable. Conservation Commission is comfortable leaving that untouched for the time being. Okay. I'm just thinking, you know, I know there's been other of these open spaces where you know, the golden rod gets out of control and it becomes an allergy issue to people in the area, things like that. So I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if it was something we needed to consider next budget season for some, you know, yeah. even if it was just a couple times a year to have it mowed or anything like that. But if there's not a concern, I guess we don't need to create one. Yep. 
Anything you want? No, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay with it. At this time, okay. I will entertain the motion as you agree. All right. I'm. I move to affirm the July 25th, 2024 vote of the Conservation Commission accepting the open space protection defined by the state in its official document. Second. All right. Do you have a motion made and seconded to affirm the July 25th decision? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Our next order of business is to award the four year 25 diesel and gasoline bids. Yes, um, George Emery, Highway Superintendent, has recommended that the town accept the gasoline bid at a fixed rate of three dollars and twenty-five cents, and uh, from Dennis K. Burke, and diesel at a fixed rate of three dollars and fifteen cents from Carousel Oil. Any discussion about those? Okay. Uh, at the time of entertaining motions to uh, approve the bids. Um, as read by the time sir. I motion we accept the bid, Dennis K. Burke, gasoline at a rate of 325 and Karis oil for diesel at a rate of 315. Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Excellent. All right. Our next order of business is to approve the town administrator recruitment counseling services proposal. Yes. Um, this has been discussed um, at a few prior meetings. Um, Deborah, Rad I will be working closely with Deborah Rad Radway. We're going to work in tandem on the recruitment. Um, she has agreed um, to the same hourly rate as as I receive, forty three dollars and fifty cents per hour worked. Um, she may have to attend a screening panel meeting, um, should we decide to have some preliminary, uh, screening interviews, um, at which case she would obtain, she would get the standard business mileage rate, 67 cents a mile. She's where she's only commuting from Montague. It's, <laughs> it's going to be minimal. Okay. Um, and we expect the, um, the timeline for the recruitment, um, to be up to three months from the date of job posting and the job has just been posted in the MMA and on, um, another state, a state list, uh, website. So very excited. Laura Wilson, any uh, discussion or questions about that? No. All right. Um, should we just need a, uh, Motion to approve the yes uh, to authorize the chair to sign the proposal. All right. Um, the time of entertaining motion to authorize the chair to sign the proposal for the town administrator recruitment consultant. So moved. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to uh, approve the recruitment counseling services proposal. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So I'm very excited that that process is moving along. Yes. Uh, we have two other items of new business that are not current on the agenda. Uh, the first one um, has to do with the sludge um, yes. that we sent to Lowell. Um, yes. it, is a, is it a yearly contract? Or it is. It's an annual contract, and the contract is the overall contract is managed by the Franklin Waste Solid uh, Franklin County Solid Waste Management District. Um, and there are a number of participating towns. Each town has to individually sign on. Um, are there any notable differences from last year or anything that we can aware of? There has been nothing noted, no major changes from last year. Beautiful. I'd like to hear. Any questions from the board? All right. At the time, I would entertain a motion to accept the annual contract for our sludge services with Lowell. I motion we accept the annual contract for sludge services. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. And then our other uh, order of business is we need to uh, select a delegate from our board to negotiate with Comcast for the cable contract for the town for the next period of time. How long is the next period of time? Do you... I believe they're 10 years. That sounds right, yeah. I believe they're 10 years, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, discussion. Would anyone like to do that? <laughs> <laughs> what are the meetings? <laughs> <laughs> um, the the board could designate a primary uh, negotiating committee member and then an alternate as well. I'm for the period of time that I'm here, I'm willing to to sit in and and you know just take notes and pass it along to the new town administrator if the board would like. Um, but it's your prerogative. So how often does this for me? I don't think they're gonna. Um, I don't. 
I don't think they meet all that often, but once they're up in meeting, I, I get the impression from Joyce's email that they're going to want to keep keep the ball rolling because sure. they think that you know timely, timeliness is of an issue is an issue here. So I can't I can't answer the I can't answer the question on frequency though. Yeah, that's it's all Zoom though, right? All Zoom. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Zoom. I haven't gotten clarification on that either. Yeah. <laughs> I suspect it might be because the attorney that works with the towns um, would probably have an easier time participating by Zoom, but. Yeah, I don't see that being a thing that is enhanced by being in person. So I guess he would be a good offer for that. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm assuming you'd like us to have a decision on that tonight. Yes, please. So we they can start putting the, they can start getting that, um, the, the wheels turning on this, on the negotiation. I mean, I don't mind. Doing it as long as the time works. Yeah. So, so okay. and I would be happy to be your all then. Okay. Um, okay. I, but just full disclosure on the record, uh, I spent seven years as a Comcast technician, not working directly for Comcast, but working for a contracting company that worked for Comcast. So, full disclosure, I've been separated from that job for seven years now, some eight years now, um, but just full disclosure. Sure. Um, Okay. I mean, that's one. This is wonderful. And you know, the landscape has changed so much in the past 10 years. They really have to start focusing on streaming. I, I it's gonna be interesting to see oh, yeah. their discussions around yeah, around yeah. people actually dropping cable TV. But I mean, 10 years ago, yeah, the their 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 business was TV and home phone and yeah. now it's internet and oh yeah, we do other stuff also sometimes. Right. It's, 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 so right. yeah, no, I'm I'm very interested in those in those negotiations also. Thank you very much, Dan. Okay. That's all that. All right, that should be our last order of new business. Which okay. you, oh, do you need to have a vote on yeah, uh, if you would just, if the board could just vote on designating uh, Dan as the primary and Nathaniel as the alternate. All right. I motion we designate Dan as the primary for the cable licensing and Nathaniel as the alternate. Second. All right. We motion to be seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. That is the end of our business. Oh. First for old business is select board updates. I don't have anything this week, Dan. Do you have anything? I do not. I do not. <laughs> hey, how about that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving um, on to town library updates. Do you have anything for us? I'll try to keep it quick. Um, the new, the town's new select board town administrator, administrative assistant will begin her duties on Tuesday, September 3rd. Currently, we're in the middle of a two week period where we're, with, we're without someone at all in the position. So please bear with us as we get through these these couple of weeks. We're, we're doing our best to pool our, our resources to get day-to-day -day work done. Uh, Building Commissioner Tom Quinlan stopped in last week. He's investigating a possible increase in permit fees to cover program cost increases. And he's going to present, oh, he, he is going to request to present proposed updated fees, including comps from other towns at a future select board meeting. Great. The Cannabis Control Commission, CCC, has determined that the last sentence in the indemnification clause in the town's HCA with Altai is not compliant with the relevant CMR. It's only one sentence that they're pinpointing. So I've reached out to town council um, to advise on whether or not the removal of that particular sentence would harm the indemn indemnification clause in any way. I don't believe it would because the, um, the substantive information is still in the indemnification clause. So I'm waiting to hear back from town council on that. Um, the applicant has confirmed that they are still willing to move forward with the project in Sunderland. And so they're very interested in taking care of that. Um, the ZBA is also going to want to meet with the applicant because the applicant changed uh, from the initial petition or the initial request for the um, host community agreement. I met with Jennifer Uncles last Thursday. I mentioned this already. And um, just a couple of Conservation Commission updates. Oversight of the Falls Road land clearing and wetlands um, violations has been taken over by DEP under a unilateral administrative consent order. So while CONCOM is staying in contact with DEP, they are no longer monitoring it directly. DEP is taking that over and is likely going to be visiting the site every single week to assure that that progress is made. 
Um, Jennifer also mentioned that the, the Mount Toby roads, um, Middle Mountain Road and Reservoir Road in particular, are continuing to experience erosion and filling in of some streams in that area. Um, she expressed an interest in exploring the MVP grant program or other funding sources for culvert replacement and other climate resiliency measures. Um, and she's also asked if the MVP prioritization plan could be updated to reflect these road issues because they're not currently listed as a high priority. Mm. She'd like to try to um, um, reorder them in, in priority order. So those are my updates for this week. Does, does Jennifer want to meet with us about that or just like an update question? Right. She's just expressing an interest right now. Um, eventually, she may want to meet with the board on the MVP plan. Is that something we could update? Or? It's, it wouldn't. We have to go through MVP, the MVP program right. at the state, and I can yeah. certainly reach out to the state. I'm willing to do that to find out what, what it would require to do updates. Maybe we really just keep you know, if you just roll out some language or yeah, you don't mind finding out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Then you can figure out how to work it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. All right. Um, that's it for you, right? That's it for me. Beautiful. So that's all of our old business. Um, we don't have any correspondence. I don't see anyone in person or on Zoom for public comment. Um, so in that case, our next meeting will be Monday, September 9th. Are we are we meeting on the Tuesday after Labor Day? It's not it's not on your calendar at the moment. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Just okay. <laughs> every week after that. Yeah, that's that's what okay. okay. I just want to make sure we were on the same page there. So great. Yes, uh, again, our next meeting will be Monday, September 9th, 2024, at our usual security time. At this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I motion we have second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Three nothing. The time is 648. <laughs>